In the previous lesson, you learned about responsiveness and the two ways to make pages responsive in Chakra UI. In this lesson, we are going to be making the UI rebuild responsive. Here's the Figma design of how the mobile screen should look like. To make our UI responsive, we are going to be using the array syntax because I personally love it, but I'll link to the repo containing the object syntax solution. Now let's start with the header. We notice that when we scale our UI to a mobile screen size, the heading and text stay the same, but this shouldn't be. From our design, the heading font size should become 30 pixels, while the text font size should become 18 pixels. So we'll fix that now. Here we'll see that the font size for all screen widths have been set to 5XL, which is 48 pixels, but we want to make a few adjustments to that. So the first thing we want to do is to turn on JavaScript and then specify an array. In this array, we want to specify the font sizes for different screen widths. So for 0 to 30 EM, we want to specify the font size as 30 pixels. And using design tokens, this translates to 3XL. Also, on screen sizes between 30 to 48 EM, we want to also specify the font size as 3XL, which is 30 pixels. And then finally, for desktop screens, the font size should be 5XL, which is 48 pixels. For text, the mobile font size is 18 pixels, which translates to large when we use design tokens. So we're just going to create an array and pass in these values at different screen sizes. Let's test this out and see what we have so far. Now, there's just something we need to fix, which is the text alignment. From the design, the heading and text are left aligned and not center aligned. Let's fix this. We are going to pass in the text align prop and specify that on small screen sizes, the alignment should be left, and on desktop screen, the alignment should be center. Yeah, this is what we want. So let's move ahead to the next component, which is the pricing component. In the pricing section on desktop screens, we notice that there's a left and right side of the section. But on mobile screens, we can notice that the left and the right side are in a single column stacked on each other. We can achieve this behavior by passing the direction prop to flex and specifying it as column on mobile and small screen sizes and row on desktop screens. Let's check this out. Oh, we can see the layout immediately flips as a column. And this is what we want. The final thing we want to add is to add some margin on either side of this section. From the design, we have the margin as 24 pixels on either side. So let's add this in. To add in the required margin on either side, we will need to have a box wrapping this entire section. And then we're adding the margin, which is 24 pixels. Remember 24 pixels become 6 when we're using the space design token, so I'll just put in 6. Let's check again. Cool. Another thing you notice here is the alignment. At the moment it's center aligned, but we need to make it left aligned on mobile screens. To ensure that the icon and the text are on the same line, we also add in an align items prop and make the value start. Finally, we notice that the font size for this price is really big and we need to tone it down. From the design, this should become 48 pixels and not 60 pixels. And this is what we have. 
I'll leave the last feature section as an exercise for you to try your hands on. Just follow the same logic to make each element responsive. Remember to check the code sandbox and ripple to see my solution. As always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.